I love feeling small. I love asking questions about our universe. She may be a tiny speck underneath the Milky Way, but Serafina El Baudry Nance has always had big dreams. I grew up in love with the night sky, and I would stargaze with my dad at night. I knew that I wanted to continue and devote the rest of my life to studying the stars in some capacity. Serafina will earn her PhD in astrophysics this year, but she says she quickly found that the path for women is still less than stellar, especially women of color. There are not a lot of women in astronomy and in physics in general, um, and that's a really difficult isolating, lonely feeling. Serafina also became an analog astronaut, living for a period of time in a Mars simulation. But she says only after learning how truly precious life on Earth is. My journey with cancer really started with my grandmother. Um, she was diagnosed with ovarian cancer and ended up dying of pancreatic cancer. And then when I was in college, my dad was diagnosed with metastatic prostate cancer. And my dad is my best friend. Um, he is my number one cheerleader. And that diagnosis was devastating. In 2017, Serafina learned she also carries the BRCA2 cancer gene. She was 23 at the time and was told to prepare for a lifetime of screening every six months. For me, that was untenable. I couldn't imagine living my life constantly reactive and scared that something would pop up. And so when I learned that I could get a double mastectomy that would reduce my risk of breast cancer from 87% to less than 5%, I knew that that was the right course of action for me. Um, it really was a no-brainer. It wasn't a fear-based decision, it was an empowering decision. In 2019, Serafina had three surgeries to complete a double mastectomy with breast reconstruction, and she was ready for a new challenge as a Sports Illustrated swimsuit model. I think that the stereotypes of what a scientist looks like and what a body in Sports Illustrated swimsuit looks like is embedded in, in my mind, right? In everybody's minds. Serafina says she took the leap and applied for a spot in the magazine to reclaim her post-mastectomy body. It was recognizing in myself, I can do this. And to my utter surprise, I got a call that I was selected. And the entire time that I was there was so empowering. I got to embrace my body in a way that I hadn't gotten to um, post-surgery. She writes about her journey in a new book, Starstruck. For me, feeling small is my way of feeling connected to the universe. So that sense of perspective really grounds me and allows me to tackle whatever life throws my way. Well, Serafina's book, Starstruck, it comes out tomorrow. And since her surgery, she has also become an advocate for women's health and continues to promote scientific literacy. And we are happy to report that her dad is oh. doing well and will even be walking her down the aisle oh. at her upcoming wedding. That's, That's nice. good. That That's nice. bonus. Great. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.